don't yeah. Ah. If I can phase it again. Yeah, tiny little breaks in there too. Love that. Stop. What up, guys? It's your boy, Matt, from RamseyVoice.com. And if you're here, it means that it is my favorite time, which is reaction video time. And today, I'm going to react to one of my absolute favorite Filipina singers. That, of course, is Miss Morissette Amon. And today, she's going to be singing, I Want to Know What Love Is. And I'm kind of curious as to whether this is a cover of the Foreigner song, because that would be pretty rad if it is. Now, if you guys find this video helpful, make sure to smash that like button, comment with the next reaction or video tutorial that you want to see me do, subscribe, and turn on notifications for this channel. And if you're interested to see a brand new segment that I've just released on this show, then make sure that you watch until the end of the video, or else Morissette is going to come to you in the middle of your dreams and sing Whistle Register at you to frighten you. <laughs> okay, so let's jump into one of my favorite sections on the show, which is high note, low note. We're going to take a look at a very, very positive comment that somebody left. And we're going to take a look at one uh, piece of human garbage who left a really, really bad comment on my account. So let's go ahead and get started off with the high note today. So our high note is going to come from Gary Agda, who said, I like how you break down those techniques and styles that she uses with her voice. Love your reaction. Love you, Gary. Thank you so much for noticing. I really feel like the biggest difference between my channel and many other vocal coaches' channels is that I actually break down the techniques that a singer is using so that you can actually learn something and put them to use in your own voice. And our low note today is going to come from Bishal Magar, who said, when the f are you going to sing yourself? Well, do I approve? Do I remove, report, or hide user from the channel? Now, I totally understand where Bashal is coming from in that you guys want to know that the person that you're watching these reactions of can walk the walk, can actually sing as well as talk about singing. But even though I'm always singing in the songs that I react to and stuff like that, it's not always going to sound great. But the point is, can I actually master these singing concepts that I'm attempting to teach you guys? And I would say that most of the time I can sing from my chest voice up to the top part of my voice to my head voice without breaking and straining pretty well. For example, that in the unknown, in the unknown, in the unknown. I can make that happen pretty easily in my voice just because I've done it so much. So hopefully that answers some of the questions as to whether or not I can sing. With that said, let's jump into the reaction. And again, make sure that you stay until the end to watch the very, very special segment that I've created for you. Okay, without further ado, here is Morissette singing I Want to Know What Love Is. Oh, it is. It is a cover of The Foreigner. So we're in F sharp. Come on, Morissette. I gotta take a little time. Mm. A little time to think things over. Love that breathy phonation at the beginning. Oh, Morris said, I love you. In my life, Lovely there's breath. been heartache and pain. I don't know if I can face it again. Can't stop now. I'm trying. It's just so well connected in her voice. It's just so seamless. And actually, I'm hearing maybe a little bit of Christina Aguilera in this. She's kind of doing her own version of that little kind of like breaky thing that change to that first note. But my God, it is so easy for her. Let's see what she does in the chorus. Okay, E. 
easy. She took it easy in this first round. I want to know. I want you to show me. So I would call that falsetto. Very light head voice. I want to feel what love is. I know you can show me. So every time she's going, I know. She's switching between her chest and her head voice there. And a lot of people get confused between the chest and the head voice thing. In this particular case, what I mean is that she's going from her chest voice where she's really, really kind of getting that rich sound to a very, very light, almost kind of falsetto-y, breathy kind of sound up there. Now, my guess is that as she goes through the song, she's going to add more and more. Let's see what she does next. Yeah, there we go. Nice. A little time to the Tiny bit of pitchiness on the low notes. That's how you can tell it's not auto tuned. Which I love, by the way. Looks like love has finally found me. Nice. Oh, hey, my life. There's been heartache and pain. Yeah. Oh, uh, there she is. There's that Christina. Ah, some of that Louis Armstrong. I see. <laughs> I see skies of blue. That little bit of extra uh, that comes from the vestibular and ventricular vocal cords outside of the true vocal cords. That comes from the outside of the true vocal cords. So that, uh, that kind, of, uh, kind of growl. That is so, so cool. And I remember that she did that in Never Enough, too. And I absolutely love it. Yeah, tiny little breaks in there too. Love it. Take us there, girl. Come on. Ooh, nice. Cool that she's not singing all the lyrics. She's kind of like the the. Uh, she's like the riffer. She's jumping in. There's that Mariah sound. Ooh, yeah. Key change. That's a full head voice. Wow. Got up to an A6 there. Love that eye contact too. Oh, Morissette, you just melt my heart. Thank you so much for doing this performance. It's lovely. It's so, so lovely. And I feel like it's such a great job that I get to hear it. Just listen to this. And man, what a privilege. And every, every once in a while, I get to work with voices like this. And it's so, so cool. So I promise that if you guys stuck around to the end, I wanted to show you a brand new segment on the show that I'm super, super excited about. It's called Two Minute Tutorials. And it's because so many people watch my channel because they know that I want to teach these great techniques to you guys too. Now, a lot of people think that, oh, I will just never, ever be able to learn how to sing. And that's totally fine if you think that. But for the people that are actually wanting to work on their voice and maybe learn a little bit from this channel, this segment's just for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two minutes on the clock. I'm going to take one technique that Morissette is using in this song. And I, I never know about these beforehand. So I'm just gonna do my very best to explain the technique and give you an exercise to find it in your own voice in two minutes. Okay, so let's check it out. Okay. Now. One thing that Morissette does very, very well is she does her whistle register super well. Now, whistle register is something that a lot of people have a hard time finding at first. And it's kind of this crazy thing that, like, as you start to work in the top, 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 top of your voice on really, really great vocal exercises like a lip trill, 
little bit, you can start to find that whistle. Now, for me personally, I've never actually found that I can access my whistle register just through doing like lip trills and singing higher and higher and higher. For me, I actually feel it as a very, very separate and distinct vocal register in my voice. And one of the ways that I love to find it is what I call the yawny whistle. So I pretend to yawn. Oh, and I just allow a little bit of that squeakiness to come out in my voice. It's not too breathy. It's not ah, like I'm thinking, ah. Instead, I'm just thinking kind of yawn. Oh. Now, it's very, very typical for it to break at first. But what you want to do is you want to start finding pitches that you can get to match with it. Like, and start to find that pitch and replicate it over and over. And basically, you can start adding little bits of vibrato to that. So I'm pretending to yawn, I'm relaxing, but I'm just bringing my vocal cords together very, very slightly in the front part. That Now, again, it doesn't sound awesome in my voice right now because this is just not something that I train on a daily basis in my own voice. Whistle register in general is kind of just like a nice parlor trick to be able to use. But for some singers like a Morissette um, or like an Ariana Grande, they're able to use this in a very, very musical way. And it still sounds really, really good. I'm still a far, far way away from that in my own personal voice, as you can hear. However, that doesn't mean that you guys won't be able to find it in your own voice. So go ahead and just try that yawning whistle, pretend that you're yawning, and just allow a little bit of airflow while you bring your chords together. Now, I will warn you, it's not going to happen every single day, but what you want to do is you want to try to find it every day to make it as sustainable as possible. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Absolutely a five-star performance for Morissette here. There's so, so many great things that we can learn from her voice. Don't forget, if you found this video helpful, make sure to smash that like button, comment with the next reaction that you want to see me do, subscribe, and turn on notifications for this channel. And if you want to learn more about Whistle Register, I've got a fantastic video that will show you exactly how to do it. Go ahead and check that out now.